Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dazzled or Disappointed. Today's going to be, for me, very exciting. It's on the new Benefit box powder called Gold Rush. So this is their newest blush, their newest addition to the box powder collection. This had um, released in like a palette that Benefit just released a couple of weeks ago at Sephora. Um, and so I was waiting for the individual because sometimes with those palettes, I never know if the consistency and the formulation is going to be the same. So I was waiting very patiently for this. As soon as it released, I picked it up. So I have uh, thoughts for you. I've been using it and so I'm ready to share that with you. So let's get started. Okay, so first let's go through Sephora details. Now, first off, this is currently only available for VIB and VIB Rouge. So um, if you are not either one of those tiers, just be patient. Usually they release it like that for a week, maybe two. I would highly doubt two weeks. That seems kind of long. So about a week, and then what happens is then they roll it out to pretty much everybody. They did that with the Tatcha... Um, uh, foundation base, the primer, um, here recently they released it to, I think, VIB Rouge, and then maybe that one did take a little longer. I want to say it was two to three weeks later it released to everybody, and so that is coming out very, very soon. So have no fear if you haven't been able to get your hands on it because you're not one of these tiers. It's coming out very soon, or you can pick it up in that palette that I mentioned that is already available to everybody. So first off, the blush is $29, which is in line with what their other box powders cost. Um, it is 0.17 ounces or five grams of product. Um, and I do want to give you the description. So Sephora says it's a warm golden nectar blush. Um, Benefit's new gold rush blush has a custom golden nugget design and an overspray that gradually lifts away to uh, reveal a rich golden shade infused with delicate golden flecks. Now, as far as gradually lifts away, that really, there's no gradual about it. The first time I used it, it was gone. So literally, if you swirl your brush in there, you know, and I like to layer my blush, it won't be gradual. It's gonna go away really with that first time that you use it. Uh, sweep on this gold, golden nectar blush for a rush of guilt e pleasure. G-I-L-T, that's cute. The universally flattering peach color is, so I always tell you, I think it's a high claim when products or brands say something is universally flattering. Um, peach color is buildable, blendable, and adds a touch of luxe to every look. It also features a signature golden glamber scent with notes of citrus, vanilla, and sandalwood. If you watched my Sephora haul um, that I recently posted, I mentioned it kind of smells perfumey. It does have a scent. It smells really, really good, but just know if you're sensitive to smells, it does have a scent. It says, beauty tip. Layer gold, uh, gold Rush Blush over Benefit's best-selling Hula Matte Bronzer for a gorgeous back from the beach glow. So I have not done that yet, but now that I see that, I'm probably gonna wanna do that soon. Okay, and real quick, I pulled the California blush, which is the most recent release to this one, just to see how the volume or the amount of product compares. Sometimes they'll kind of um, skimp out on the volume and kind of charge the same price and go down a little bit. They are the same. So California is also 0.17 or five grams of product, but I want to say this one is less than what previous ones have been released as. But um, as far as the that goes, this is the same uh, volume of product as this. So I am wearing it on my cheeks today. First off, let's go in with the packaging. You know Benefit box powders are gonna have the cutest packaging. Benefit always outdoes themselves with packaging and I am a sucker for packaging, but this is what it looks like. It's got gold rush in the gold letterings and it's got boots on there, high heel boots with the lace up on the sides, oops, right there. Really pretty, it's got stars on the sides. And so they really, really went all out with the detail on the packaging, really pretty. Um, on the top part, it says warm golden nectar blush. And then um, on the back, really, it just says sweep on this rich golden nectar blush for a stroke of luxe. And then you've got the ingredients. So inside you do get your normal Benefit box powder little brush, which is kind of nice. I just dropped it. It's kind of nice because they keep including that. They're not skimping out. On the inside, you do have the tiny little mirror. These never really work for me, so if they didn't include a mirror, I, that's okay. I'd still 
I'd be okay with that. Here's what it looks like on the inside. So you see how it does have that design that it was talking about as far as like a golden nugget type design. It looks kind of crinkly like tissue paper. And you see that the only overspray left is this right here. And so everything else is gone. That's why I say there is nothing gradual about it. Once you sweep your brush in there, it's gone. So let's start off with a swatch. Um, here's what the swatch looks like. And I, I'm going to be the first, not the first to say, I'm gonna say the first thing of my thoughts is that I don't know that this is gonna be universally flattering. I think that's a really high claim to make, especially for something like this. Now. If you have tried that and you are a lady of deeper skin tone, please let me know because I'd like to know if something like this would work for you. I don't imagine it will. It seems very, very light. Um, and this is what the swatch looks like. So it's very natural. It very much is like a very apricot type shade. And it does have a little bit of gold in it. It does have those gold flecks. It's nothing like chunky gold glitter. It's... Uh, I don't even wanna call it micro shimmer because it's almost less than that. Um, but that's what the swatch looks like. So you can see it's very, very natural and it's very pretty. I did have to layer it a couple of times to really get good payoff. To even It even looks natural on me and that's a couple of layers. So the first thing, again, I don't know that this would be suitable for deeper skin tones. I don't know, again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, I don't mind being corrected. So that's that right there. Let me zoom you in so that you can see what it looks like up close. So of course I'm wearing my highlighter cream base, I'm wearing highlighter on top, and then the blush is right here. I'm not wearing any bronzer, and I did that on purpose um, so that you could really see the blush so that it could stand out. So. You see that it looks very, very natural. It's a very pretty color to really warm up your complexion and just give you a really nice, healthy flush of color, and that's what I like about it. Um, again, I had to build it up a couple of times, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because then it means it's harder to go overboard if you are a little heavy-handed. Um, and so sometimes it is nice to be able to build up your blush so that it's not so intense. Now, that being said, I'm going to quickly dive you into what I think about this. I love it. I'm dazzled by it, but I expected no less from Benefit. This is something that I was expecting to love, and actually my expectation was up here, so there was very easily room for me to be disappointed. I love it. I am dazzled by it. I would highly recommend it, but keep in mind those two things that I mentioned. One, about it being not, I don't think it's suitable for all skin tones, and two, the scent. If you are sensitive to smells in your makeup, this does have a very perfumey scent, so you may not be entirely crazy about that if you're sensitive in the sense that it gives you headaches. It does have a strong scent. Now once I put it on my face, I didn't smell it. I can't smell it. As soon as I swept it on, scent was gone. But if you put your nose directly into this box, it is stronger and you can smell something like a perfumey smell. It smells very good and I'm not sensitive to smells in my makeup so that does not bother me. But all in all, a dazzled for me. I love it if you're um, uh, on the fence about picking it up, I say don't be. Let me give you a side-by-side -side of California and um, Gold Rush. In fact, let me grab a couple of a uh, couple other of the box powders so that you can see how they compare side-by-side. -side. Okay, so I've got quite a few swatches in here for you. Um, everything from my pinks down to what I think is closest to Gold Rush. And so from the bottom is Urvana and then Bella Bamba, California, Coralista and then Gold Rush. So the closest to Gold Rush is gonna be Coralista. They are more kind of that orangey apricot shade. Um, not identical, but very, very similar. Coralista is a little bit more on the, I think like the orangey side, even though it's not orange. Um, but that's what those look like in comparison side by side. So again, if you own Coralista, you have something very similar to Gold Rush. Um, but the, what I like about um, Gold Rush is it's a little bit more natural and buildable so that it gives you that healthy flush to the cheeks.
Okay guys, before I let you go, I need to give you the verse of the day. Today's comes from Acts 10.34 and it says, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism. Guys, I hope you found that inspiring, encouraging. Just remember, and I tell you this sometimes in the comments or in the description box below, just remember that Jesus loves you and so do I. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you found this Dazzled or Disappointed to be helpful and beneficial if you were thinking of picking up this benefit box blush. Stay tuned because I will be back very, very soon with another video. Take care. Bye.